Are you using Pinterest to drive traffic to your art website? And if so, would you like my six tips for Pinterest marketing for 2022 so that you can increase those results? And most importantly, of course, you can get more sales with your art business. Well, hi, if you've not been here before, welcome to my channel. My name's Sophie and I help artists and creatives just like you to build a successful, profitable business doing what you love, built around your existing art practice. If that sounds like you and you want more tips and tricks on how to build that successful business, then you're in the right place. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and of course hit the bell to get notified every single time I post a new video. All right, let's jump over to those Pinterest top tips and I'll see you over there. Now Pinterest can often seem just really confusing or actually a lot of hard work. And I hear you, but if you knew some of the latest stats, you might change your mind. So over 442 million active users per month, two billion searches per month. Now I don't know about you, but that stat gets me excited. All right, there are people actively looking for products and services, right? We have to remember that Pinterest is not a social media platform, it's a search engine. Around 69, 70% are women, over 25% of active users are actually looking for ideas and they're looking for buying options and they're shoppers, which is really important. How many platforms that we do our marketing on have actually got people already looking for ideas and looking for things to buy? Now it used to be more US based, but over 50% of active users on Pinterest are now located outside of the US. So we really can say it's a global online marketing platform, perfect for us creatives and artists. Once you understand some of these top tips that I'm gonna be sharing with you in a moment. All right, let's just talk a little bit about search just for a moment, so hear me out. Okay, when we think about search, we tend to think about Google or YouTube or Pinterest, right? This is what I think about when I want to look for something. Now the thing about Google, Google is perfect for somebody who knows what they want already. So typically you put into Google, this is what I want to buy these things and some options will show up of where you can buy them. But when you Google something and you want an idea, then pictures and videos and things very often pop up and you're led to Pinterest. So when you're thinking, I wanna decorate my lounge, but I'm not really kind of sure what style, I want some ideas, I maybe want to watch a video, how-to tips and so forth, then Pinterest is the perfect place, All right? You're not necessarily gonna put that in a Google search because you're gonna come up with a load of random results. So Google is perfect if the customer knows what they want, Pinterest is great if they're looking for an idea. So hold that thought and let's dive into those six top tips for Pinterest marketing for 2022. So tip number one, you really must have a focused niche and make sure that the description of exactly what you offer and ideally for whom is in your little bio section. So your name and your bio and the link through to where you want people to go, whether that's your website, your Etsy shop, etc. That's got to be very, very clear, all right? You wanna claim your niche and you wanna claim that sentence that says exactly what it is you do for whom. So when people land on there, they know exactly what to expect. Tip number two, Pinterest loves fresh content. Now, what do we mean by fresh content? That's a pin that's never been seen before. So that's you creating pins in something like Canva or Photoshop or whatever photo editing app that you use. But honestly, Canva's really simple and quick and easy to use. So you create pins and you pin them on to your Pinterest account, right? That's fresh content. You're gonna be rewarded by Pinterest for doing just that. And remember here that you want to pin regularly. So this is not, oh, I've pinned something you know, one month and then I'll pin something another month. This is daily, weekly pinning. This is using something like Tailwind. Check out the link below where you can find out more about Tailwind. So Tailwind is a phenomenal scheduling tool and will make it a lot easier for you to upload a month or two months worth of pins and that they can go out on a, on a regular basis. So tip number three, use search engine optimization, SEO. That's putting your keywords, keywords remember are the phrases that people are going to put into Pinterest to find what you have. You wanna use those in the board titles, board descriptions, pin title, pin description, like anywhere and everywhere you can put keywords in naturally and organically, then that's what you want to be doing. Tip number four, create idea pins. What's an idea pin I hear you shout? It's basically like a story. 
right? So unlike somewhere like Instagram, it's not something that disappears after 24 hours. It's just a different type of content on your Pinterest page. But right now, Pinterest really loves the idea pin. So you can add up to 20 pages, you could create a video, you could create different pages with information on. This is a brilliant way for people to find out more information about what it is that you do. So get creative when you think about how you could put together an idea pin. I will be doing a new video on how to create an idea pin and different ideas for artists to use that strategy. Tip number five, just what we were talking about on my previous Instagram video, use video. Video, 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 video. So if you haven't watched the Instagram video, this is a link to it here, but we talk a lot about using video and guess what, we're gonna mention it again here. So more and more and more, every platform is uh, wanting to reward you for putting video together. People like to watch video, it's short, it's easy. You can do it from a safe place at work, just scroll through, watch a video. So Pinterest is exactly the same. So again, think about how you could create a short and simple video pin. So you could do that on Canva, you could create an image or a series of images and make and animate it and make that into a video. So don't overthink this, it doesn't have to be a long complicated thing, it just has to be a moving image. So think about video and how you could pin video. Tip number six, repin less. Now I know that's probably how we all started our Pinterest accounts back in the day, repinning other people's pins like crazy, but things are changing. And so I want you to think about creating your own fresh content and not about rummaging around and just repinning things that Pinterest has seen already. Sure, you want to add a few things if they're useful for your audience and relevant to the board, but really we don't want to be using that as an ongoing strategy. You want to be using your time to create fresh content and pinning that to your account. All right, so I hope those six tips have been useful and that you're inspired to get pinning. So remember, there's a lot of other things you can do on Pinterest as well, but if you get started with these six top tips, then you'll be laying them really good foundations. And on top of that, of course, you can be looking at Pinterest ads, rich pins and so forth, and you can build your account from there but I think this is good foundational strategy for this year. So if you've loved this video, then let me know which one of the top tips that you're gonna be taking action on in the comments below this video. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up as well, as that really helps YouTube show other people who might be interested in this content, shows that video out to more people. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.